Hey guys, it's Mike with All American down in Savannah, Georgia, and today we are doing a soft wash build. So I've got the trailer at the house today and I am going to do a little walkthrough on the soft wash build I just did this past weekend. Uh, this is an ugly old trailer, but it gets the money in and uh, couldn't be more happy with it. Got a Bandit High Flow, Honda powered, eight gallon per minute pump, pressure washer over there, uh, a couple uh, big tanks with water and bleach or sodium hypochlorite. Uh, soft wash reel on that side that is connected to a proportioner that is connected to a pump that has got all the goodies inside this aluminum box. I actually got real lucky. This thing was on sale at Lowe's for like 139 bucks, so couldn't go wrong. So I snagged it. It's a little overkill, but it gives us some storage for lances, wands, extra parts, uh, things that um, you always need. But uh, we'll start with the outside. There's the proportioner. Um, as you guys know from some of the other videos, I'm sure you've watched if uh, they were mine or someone else's. What this does is it meters the chemical from the chemical tank and the water from the water tank into our pump. There's also the middle valve that has uh, a smaller quarter inch tube that goes into a soap tank. Currently, uh, because this is brand new, I just built it a couple days ago. Um, right now we're just using that uh, bucket for the soap. Uh, we did a roof yesterday and it definitely needs to be a much bigger soap container for the volume of work that uh, this trailer does. So uh, let's take a look inside. Very simple setup. We have got an Everflow 7 gallon per minute 12 volt pump, uh, which you can see is plumbed up to the proportioner. Uh, this is our on-off switch, very simple. There is a deep cycle marine bat battery that is in there. Um, so I've run a bunch of 12 volt systems over the years. Uh, I prefer gas powered, but I uh, figured why not throw one on here. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's mounted up pretty sturdy. I just put some aluminum L brackets that are mounted to the bottom of the box that have this thing held in pretty tight. So that was a concern um, because these pumps unfortunately are somewhat disposable or a consumable product. Uh, I've just got it zip tied in with some heavy duty zip ties through the bottom. So they an easy in and out and we've got a replacement in the truck if that happens. Um, one thing that I did do on this one, which is a little bit different, is a solar panel. These batteries are not connected to anything. Obviously, there's no alternator that is charging the battery. So when this unit is in um, use, our techs can just pull out the uh, solar panel, set it up on top, set it right there, and it will help to maintain the battery, charge the battery as we are using the power from the battery. Um, Obviously with a larger box, we've got some room for uh, different uh, detergents that we use. Um, got a little uh, basket in there that's mounted to the back that has got extra parts, fuses, J-rods, various consumables that are needed sometimes uh, when you're out on the job site. So uh, that's really it. Uh, it gets some good distance. Um, couldn't be... Uh, couldn't be happier with the performance of the electric system. Again, it's no gas powered soft wash system, which we have on our other trailer, but it's gonna serve its purpose for what we do limited on this trailer. But a uh, nice little setup, pretty inexpensive. I think the pumps are about 170 bucks, batteries maybe 100 bucks, got this thing for 130 bucks. You can put these proportioner valves together yourself probably for 200 bucks, I'm guessing. I've made a video on that with all the parts. I'll leave a link uh, at the bottom and a little card for you to check out. Um, very simple. I mean, effective, 
squirts about 30 feet with the uh, long range tip. Um, we are just using a pretty simple wand. I'm not a fan. Uh, this is a super old um, piece of uh, PVC that we've got. It broke on the first job, learned the hard way, um, but we had this sitting on a truck, so it was an easy and quick repair, but fairly simple. I think we're gonna go with some of the, uh, some of the guns just because it's a little bit easier. Uh, they are a bit more expensive, so we'll see how that goes. If we uh, go through those at a rapid rate, then uh, we'll go back to these uh, cheap little ball valves. That's about it. Um, we've got 300 feet of ag hose, half inch ag hose on a Titan reel. Um, cam lock fittings on everything. That thing's leaking because I just turned it on, but it seems to be working good. There's also a, a link to the proportioner settings uh, in the description below. Hope, uh, hope you like this little setup. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it can uh, maybe inspire you to uh, set something up on your own. Uh, doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg. You can do it all yourself. I will also put a wiring diagram for this switch and battery and pump setup. So that's it in a nutshell. Pretty simple, pretty easy, something you can do on your own. As always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hitting that like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, as always, have a great day.